up on this episode, uh, we have my boy Jonathan Randall on here, and we discuss uh, how to say no. That's always important. When the compromise, when compromise is actually selfish. Um, we talk about my Karen story that I wish I had videoed. Maybe I would have been famous mm. by now. And, it would have uh, been great. When to stand up with yourself. Um, don't forget the Patreon, y'all. That's right. Please. We yeah, we keep the conversation going over at patreon.com slash manschool202 with Jonathan Randall. And we talk more relationship stuff and uh, I think another Karen story, too. So it's a lot of fun over there. So please join us. It helps us uh, keep the show going. Manschool202 uh, at patreon.com. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. Yo, what's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? And I am excited. Nice, nice. Uh, we back in the studio today, and I'm having a good time. Uh, we got a special guest now. I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I actually mean it. Um, <laughs> we got a special guest in the building. But first and foremost, Harry. What's going on, baby? You ready to rock and roll? I am ready. I'm superhuman. I survived the COVID. You did? Now I'm superhuman. That's you how are. I look at it. That's what it is. That's what it is. Now I, I could go to Florida and cough on people. It's great. Well, if you go to Florida, you have to cough on yeah, people. Yeah, that's mandatory. the law. That's how you get in. That's what DeSantis said. Um, let me introduce you our You said kids. you wish him well, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, if by well you mean that he gets his dick cut off, oh, okay. that would, <laughs> then I would mean, yeah, that would be well. In certain countries. All right. Fair uh, enough. I guess. Um, you know... Drink a little cognac. Oh, nice. A little under the weather. Um, That's your way to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. Not COVID. You no, got no. checked, but it's. A, yeah, I got checked. A little but... cognac will it will open up them sinuses. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, They're I have... thinking of pitching it as the fifth booster. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. In, 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 intravenously. Yeah. Uh, let me introduce my guest, friend of the show, friend of mine. Uh, funny, funny dude. Uh, I love this dude, man. Um, I really, really love this dude. I mean, I, I have a lot of. A lot of good friends in comedy. Guys, yeah. I really like. This guy is one of them. Is exceptionally. I might like him more than I like you, Harry. Oh, I Jesus. hate to say it. Oh, boy. I, might, I don't mean to put it on you oh, like wow. that, but, uh, wow. All right. you know, you guys, we just want you to say, step it up. Cause, uh, oh, Jesus. I, <laughs> this is how you motivate people? <laughs> Give it up for Jonathan Randall, y'all. Give it up for hey, Jonathan, Jonathan Randall. Me. I love both you guys. Yeah, I'm man. So happy to be back to see you. I'm always happy to see Jonathan, best. man. So now that he said I love Harry, I'm going to take some points off of Jonathan. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Stop trying to control my love, yeah. Dante. It's so oppressive. <laughs> What's going on, baby? How you been? I've been all right, you know? It's a crazy world, but you still got to fucking live it. This, you, you one of the dudes, we were in it thick for three years. Like, we used to see each other every week, couple times a week. And now I haven't seen you in, you know, with the COVID and shit. It's really kind of a long time, right? It's crazy. Yeah, but it's good that's to what see happened. You. It's good to see you, man. I, I oh, we should this. I, I always I've been using this quote. I was watching um the actor. What are they called? The actors' tables. It's kind of like the red table with Jada, where she talks about all the dudes she sucked on. Oh, Jesus. okay, yeah, I've seen those. Like Variety <laughs> does it. Like let's all get together, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Hollywood Reporter, and it's we'll a round talk table. about how great right, we it's are. Around, so it's yeah. De Niro, Tom. Uh, Hanks. Hanks, yeah, Sandler. I remember. Was uh, I want to uh, say Don Cheadle. Was Don Cheadle? Don Cheadle, Cheadle yes. Uh, and uh, Brad Pitt, I think it was too. Mm. And he goes and Tom, and they go, "What? What would you, you know, what advice would you give?" You wish you had known. If yeah. I remember the quote and he loaded. goes, "This too shall pass." He goes, he goes. Well, what do you mean? He goes, um, you know, like when you're on top of the world and you're the number one guy, that too shall pass. He goes, but when you're in the bottom and you're in the shitter. That too shall pass. It will all. Everything changes. Everything flips. And if you wait long enough, for it, give it enough time, and things will change. Yeah, you know. No matter what, it all changes. The only constant is change. Yeah, and uh, COVID proved that. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever we thought. I didn't see that. It coming. changed things so it much. Did. I actually think I was supposed to come do this like right when COVID started. Yeah. And I got lost, and I ended up at the wrong place. Yes. And yeah, I yeah. wasn't feeling good, and my phone died, and I'm just like, I gotta go home, and I had COVID. Yeah, yeah. So it's probably. Oh, like, wow. had, oh really? It was probably. I had like the original. The OG. The OG. <laughs> the OG. COVID. The OG strain. He had the alpha. Was the Omicron. He had, oh, he had, he had the alpha strain. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know there was an alpha strain. Yeah, it was. We also it was a lot of dudes we know that pa that like uh, Chris Cotton and those who passed that we kind of feel like those dudes might have been COVID. And uh, what's his name? Um, country dude. 
Come on, your man, Silver Hair. Come on, you. Know. Oh, Vic Henley. Vic Henley. He didn't die of COVID, but he had an aneurysm right at the time when COVID started. And so they were so apprehensive about approaching him when he had the aneurysm. Oh, okay. And that, Fauci counted it in the COVID deaths. Right, 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 right. So he, uh, he, he, so they didn't know what to do. And they didn't approach him and he ended up going brain dead because Jesus, of it. Jesus, Yeah, man. you know that, right? I didn't know that he went brain dead. Yeah, but I know that, I, I know that he sad. passed. The, yeah, that yeah, was it. Coleman Vic Henley, former guest of the show, very yeah, good dude. I good, love Vic. Good dude. He was in uh, Borat. Bruno. Bruno. The, yeah, he's the was ring announcer Bru in the yeah, Bruno. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the cage <laughs> fight, in the Alabama cage fight, where yeah. they start a riot because Bruno. Yeah, it's and his, sad. Everybody who's who died, you yeah. know, passed away. So many people. They they lost people. But I mean, that again, like this too shall pass. That yeah. it, that is part of life. People yeah, 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 yeah. people are dying. COVID's not going to get you. Fucking boulders are going to fall on you when you're on a boat. You know, yeah. like yeah. we can't control can't get, what's going to happen. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, at, at some point, something is going to get each and every one of us. Um, who just passed away? Betty White? Well, Bob Saget. Bob Saget, just, uh, Bob Saget right? So we got, they come in threes, so it might be me. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> but um, Saget had a bunch of dates. Ida, Ada, um, Ada Rodriguez just did his podcast and shit a couple days ago. They just posted it. And then Saget died. But, um, you know, people were like... They were, Everybody but Artie Lang from Dirty Work is is going Artie away. Lang is Some going Artie strong, is, baby. God bless him. I'm happy. God, God, but it is, uh, cleaned his act up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just cost him his nose. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, it, took, it did cost him his nose. He could get that but, fixed, though, right? Dog, surgery, I don't, you know? I'm absolutely. sure he could get it fixed, but I'm, I don't know. I'm assuming he has it as like a reminder of yeah, like, yeah, keep stay away straight. from this fucking shit. Look at what it, it oh, eats Jesus. your face away, yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love everybody. Love I'm, that was kind of one of the problems. One of the biggest problems with Artie Lang is people loved him so much they would give him drugs. Mm. You know, not not in intention to help hurt him, but just like ah oh, man, here you know. Yeah, it's, they want that like bonding experience yeah. that like you have when you do that, especially with somebody you admire who you know does drugs and you do drugs. You, you go like, you know, oh, like we gotta to share you know, something. Yeah. I gotta smoke weed with Chappelle. And Chappelle's yeah. like, I don't wanna fucking smoke weed with you. I got my own weed. Yeah. So, but um. Everybody was talking about Saget, and I was like, yeah. "Duh, people!" I mean, great. I met him a couple of times. Great dude, good dude, whatever. But everybody dies. Everybody's gonna die. Nobody gets out of this shit by themselves. And I'm, I'm even with dudes when I've counseled dudes about death and you know, they lost. I'm like, "Dog." I mean, I get it. It ain't fun, but nobody gets out of this by themselves. We at some point in time. Somebody's gonna call you up, Harry, and say Dante's dead. Yeah, Jesus. And I always say you better be ready for it. Hey, and when is time? And I'll post a picture with you and yeah. say, "Hey, yeah. he was my buddy. He was my buddy. <laughs> we were close. R.I.P. I'm sadder than hey, you guys." Speaking of which, aren't we approaching uh, the? I forget what year this is. The annual Todd Lynn Death Day. Oh, what a guy who I love I that died. I love that he died. I love people. People get on me about that, but what a horrible human Let's being. See if I can what, find the post, the, the, what a fucking dirtbag. Jonathan is I on that he was he was mean to me a bunch of times. <laughs> there you I go. <laughs> it's it, it is we sad. Counter it's anybody. the whole thing. Like, you know, they just they arrested this guy who threatened to kill Trump. Yeah. And you're kind of like, ah, oh, you know, I don't want someone to kill Trump, but like, I would celebrate if they did it. Yeah. You know? I mean, I I want some money. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna not finish that sentence for oh, yeah. intents and purposes. Hold on, let me see if I could find uh, the. What? There's a new one? No, no, no. Oh, there, I well, wonder, there's an I, app that you're this many days away from, from his yeah, we, death day. I, I I wrote it. I did the code. <laughs> no, he he sent a, a text that I want to read because this is so unlike Dante, and I'll explain if I find it. You just guys vamp, but while I look. Yeah. Uh, well, tell the just of it. Anyway, you can summarize. Well, the, the whole thing is it's the most eloquent, well-written. And Dante's not a great texter. He's just very quick. And, yeah, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do I don't punctuate run-on okay. sentences. Not that I can't. I just don't give a fuck. He doesn't give a shit. So, and you shouldn't. It's fucking texting. People like take it like, so seriously. I y'all have a beer? Go in the fridge. Uh, people take it so seriously, and you're like, this isn't a thesis paper. I'm yeah, pressing yeah. buttons on my phone. Oh, like on, on dating apps, girls will have like attitude about it. You're like, like what do you think this is? Yeah. It's crazy to me. In the, in the uh, fridge. Damn it. Where the fuck is the... Harry, where's the... What are you looking for, bud? The 
Bottle opener. The bottle opener? Oh, Jesus, I haven't seen that fucking thing in... Uh, we uh, I mean, we don't have a ton of guests anymore. Is it in one of the things? Shit, I don't know where that is. All right, well, let me get a... You know what? I'm this is some riveting stuff here. Yeah, no, I know. I don't have like I, I don't have like tricks, like beer opening tricks. You don't have. Yeah, I, I, don't I gotta have, I gotta I follow have. that. Either do I? Like you know, I, I could do it on like a, a table or something, but it's like I like to worry about like fucking table. up the table. Yeah. But like there are people that like do it with like lighters. Oh, I saw Jesus. some chick like she put one under the other and she like kicked it with her foot and, and like the it managed to out. do the fucking thing. Hold Jesus. On, let me see. Hold on, let me you see. You want to stop have, and let I'm, me get him a bag? Uh, hold on, I might have something in my bag. All right, all right no, no biggie. No, no, we'll, no, get, no, you, we'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you one. I, I, sh I probably shouldn't. Have. The point is with Todd Lynn, right? <laughs> uh, getting back to Todd Lynn Death Day because Dante <coughs> sent out this text because he never had bottle openers, no. you know, and he would like break out the champagne and not even have a corkscrew. Yeah, right. He was the he, he, one of the guys that I really <laughs> I disliked. So, like, first of all, he was so nasty. And so mean. He was a mean, bitter guy. Mean, and nasty, nasty dude. And bitter and mean to a lot of different... I got it. Hold on. Yeah. I got a bottle opener here. All right. It, Harry's got... Harry's in the building. He's got like a little contain a Tupperware of tools. Equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his <laughs> bug out. He's like the saddest MacGyver. Let <laughs> 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 me oh, break out my Tupperware. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I mean, it's, it's Harry, fresh. we're making casserole. Where's my Tupperware? <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> I got earphones, a little fan here, some mints, tape measure, whatever you guys need. It's not perfect, but it'll get the job done. It'll do it. It'll you do got it. it. I All got right, it. Cool. But the, the point with the Toddle in Death Day, when we celebrate people's lives, it's right. okay to acknowledge when someone, because when people die, right. people always never talk ill of the dead. Like, fuck you. Fuck that. Fuck you. You know, like I remember Rush Limbaugh died, right? And people are like, you know, fuck, fuck this like, piece of shit. He should have died a long time fuck ago. This, he's an asshole, blah, blah, blah. And people are like, hey, you know, it's unnecessary. You don't have to do this. He's that. And, and he's like, and people are like, you know what? Somebody posted, they go, how about this? Why don't you try to lead a life where when you die, people, people aren't celebrating and dancing on your grave? That? Maybe, how about that? yeah, maybe lead a good life. How about no, that? No, absolutely. I, I, you know? I think we should talk. We Not we should. Well, yeah, we should I talk we ill should. of the dead because people need to know. Don't behave like that. This Worry is... about your legacy, what people are going to think of you, what kind of impact you want to have on the yeah. world. And it, it needs to be, it's not so much like a curse on them as it is like an example to others. And well, Todd was a bitter guy who, when his name comes up, people who don't curse anybody. Yeah. Pete Holmes, I remember, was like, right. yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Jordan Ferber was like, yeah, fuck and him. He is yeah, an those asshole. Are, those guys are sweethearts. Those guys, Pete, just not Pete nice and Jordan Ferber, one of the nicest guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, if they go fuck that guy, you got, yeah, I mean, you got to really go deep. Nobody Jordan would walk across, uh, oh, are you talking about Todd Lynn? Uh, uh, fuck that guy. <laughs> like, um, yeah. but really awful, awful. Just, just a mean-spirited dude who has just tried to... Just unnecessarily hurt. And I helped that. Feeling. I paid yeah. his rent. Sure. Really? And he fucked wow, you on the way out. He got real. you good. I almost respect the level of, of, <laughs> yeah, of the, like, he, of jerk offness. He, like, oh, he you got, got really it. sick when he got really sick and he was going blind and he fucking was all fucked up. He had a staph infection and he went blind. And, and then I helped him. I helped him pay his rent and, uh, and I thought we was okay. And then right after I helped him pay, get, get on his feet. I actually picked his son up when he had his son. Um, his wife was stranded at a at a at a fucking airport in fucking uh, in Pennsylvania, and I went and got his Jeez, wow. wife. Really nice and, of you. You're such a nice guy. And he Dante. fucking the minute he could fuck me, we were at you know what it was, Jonathan? <laughs> we were at a Times Square Art Center. And he was like, "What's this Nothing guy?" Nothing good ever happened there. He was like, "What's this?" He was like, "I was just you mean starting." The, you mean the strip club turned comedy club? <laughs> no, the, nothing. With what the could... ghosts, the ghost prostitutes that were in the shower room. But he, um, he, he came in and he was like, "What's this guy working here? I wanna, I'm, 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 I'm I don't see why you're booking him." This was after a guy and I after you helped him. He helped him out, and I was like, "Dude." I will. He was blind then, and I was like, "I will beat you like the shadow. You will not see me punching you in the head from from the peripheral because you have no peripheral anymore. You fucking idiot." But he don't you think that generation there was a little bit of an attitude of like you're an, like an outsider? It was like less this was inclusive. Beyond. I yeah. feel like almost you know, definitely like he was a very extreme example of yeah, it. Yeah. But I do think that like at that time, like there was kind of like that 
attitude with comedy was like yeah, a make, bit more. Make no mistake about it. It exists today, but it's not open. People aren't honest about it. People still have their clicks. They just don't talk to you as much or they don't make eye yeah, contact but with if you. you still, don't you think kind of if you stuck it out at a certain point where you stuck it out and you would like, you gain the respect. You were like, this dude's a comic. Do you know what I mean? I I, 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 I hope so. That's what I feel. I and feel I that think, now. Uh, you feel that now? I mean, I, well, no, I mean, I think with us, like when we became the vets, right? Yeah. I think I was funky about, like, I don't remember no young comic's name until a certain, until, unless I think the motherfucker's going to stick it out. You know, okay. well, it was like Vietnam. You ever hear the thing of like you never learn the new guy's name because they're not going to be around very long. They might long. not be around, right. so right. you don't well, bother to learn I the name. That. Yeah, I, I, um, I think it depends how they carry themselves. I think, sure. and if they're funny, and like, because I've come across some young comics, so I'm just like, punch this fucking guy in the face. Yeah, yeah. And I've come across others like, wow, I'm like touched by the way this guy is like acting or treating me. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, yeah, because you don't even, you know, we're so forward thinking in terms of we're about the work that we didn't, we didn't even think about that. I, you know, I got to give somebody a shout out. Mm. I got to give out uh, Dave Temple and, and, and Derek Gaines. Um, they opened uh, the comedy club in Brooklyn, uh, the, the Brooklyn Comedy Club. Right. And so they have a, they have a, a clique of young comics who are v- v- trying to be good. Yeah. Like, I mean, some of them are, f- I'm not to say that they're not funny, but I mean, genuinely care about the, the art form. Um, actually, black comics. There's a bunch of black comics. No, there's a couple of white dudes too, but they, they've created this kind of old school thing where, where like we were trying to make our bones. Do you know what I mean? We're, I'm not like Todd Lynn where it was just, you're an asshole for no reason. But I think being a part of this fraternity is something that you got to earn. You got to earn you it. You definitely got to earn it. That's yeah. why a lot of people give hate yeah. on, you know, TikTok stars, YouTube stars, whatever, where they're yeah. like, who the fuck is this person? Yeah. But, you know, that's something about, you know, being in the fraternity of comedy or whatever, being in New York for a long time on the scene, or I'm sure it's the same yeah, thing yeah. in California and Chicago and all, <laughs> yeah, all the big cities, a click. you know? And not necessarily a click. I mean, there's definitely clicks, but it was like, even if you're not in the click, there's certain do certain level you get to where you go, this guy's a comic. And Derek has this thing that he runs with these young guys, and they got to be funny. You got to be working. You got to be grinding. And they appreciate it. And they know the veteran comics that came before them. They know you. They know your name. They, they you know, they, they're really respectful like we were. Like, we wanted to know a guy like Greg Giraldo. We'd be like, oh, man, I, I love you. You know what I mean? There was just a respect right. that we had that's about awesome. it. And then, and in a lot of places, that's, that's just not the case anymore. And I, and I think, and, and Todd, but Todd was just a fucking dirt bag you're just a <laughs> fucking awful you know, just a waste of bone and flesh a bag of blood that should have never even came to fruition mm. um but you know i think i think uh being honest about that is important like being honest about like what you said is being honest about somebody being a dirt bag i mean nobody does that to hitler a great artist though mm. nobody you know what i mean right? they don't they don't they don't feel bad about talking shit about yeah. him or mussolini yeah. or like a, a lot of you know harvey weinstein these days yeah, jeffrey yeah. epstein you know so i guess it depends like dirt what bags the person bag. did that you yeah. can talk crap about but you know you ha- like in comedy there's no reason not to be nice to everybody it's right. really the truth and you don't know who anyone gonna is going to be and yeah. someone that you're like who the fuck is this kid i won't see him next week could be the biggest star in a month yeah. and like your kindness when he was nothing will go so much further <coughs> yeah, yeah. in every aspect of life yeah. and you know interpersonal things between the two of you than like being a dick yeah i mean you know i i think we um you know i i think there's a there's a level of gratefulness that we should have about being able to pursue what we love and be around people who have who are like-minded and want and and love what we do you know in anything i mean if it's basketball if it's art if it's comedy if it's poetry whatever it is i mean no, you're I, right. It's. I mean, I, I like. I. I want that more. You know. Yeah, I. Yeah. One thing I feel like now I'm struggling with. Like I'm not. I'm not in it enough. 
Yeah. You know, I I want to I want to be in it. I I want that vibe. You yeah, know, yeah, we yeah. lost a little bit of that. You know, yeah, what do you with mean the, with the COVID? Yeah, with think? everything that that's happened and. You know, and just also, you know, with COVID, with the disease, with all the political aspects of it all and everything. Yeah. And, like, it's just so much more division aimed at, you know, keeping us really down. That's the yeah. only way you can really, yeah. like, look at it. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a weird thing. Jonathan and I, we used to work every week, just about every weekend together. Jam, like, at least for, like, three years. We just would just see each other and John Jonathan was like we was just really cool and I could always see when Jonathan was going through some shit. Like if he was going through some chick shit with some chick and and I remember them And I went through a lot of shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And every time Dante was there for me. Every yeah. single time. And you could see you know Harry, you could hide you could yeah. I could see it. Well just some say. guys don't hide it well. Jonathan didn't. I didn't He's a lovable I wasn't guy. Trying to hide I wasn't it. Trying I wasn't to hide it. hiding it. I was in it and I let it consume me. Yeah, it was it was times when Jonathan was uh, shook up there a little and bit. And Jonathan yeah. came through the other side. Yeah. I remember I remember I mean, it kind of all blurs together, but I remember the first time he had a really rough time, and and the business was kind of beating you down so much, um, and you were we were with this chick, and you just really liked her because it was comfort. Like I, I remember you telling me, man, I just want to fucking lay on the couch and lay my head on her lap and fucking watch TV. I mean, it was just the 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 beat the way the business was beating you down, and I always. I always think about that how you you there are no vacation days in manhood. You cannot you know, I I get got calls from guys, we get this all the time, Harry, where guys would go be like, What can not can't you just love them? No. Can't you just can't and no, you gotta you gotta be a man. Being a man is like driving a car. It's asking them, can't you just love them is like saying, When can I take a nap while I'm driving on the highway? No. You, but you but are, the thing is, the problem is... It's a is, Tesla. It's supposed yeah. to drive itself. Yeah. <laughs> and it's good for the environment. <laughs> the thing is, we're, for whatever reason... So the reason, batteries go. <laughs> this is where the 50-50 stuff comes in, because the, the this new generation, myself included, everything was like, it's a partnership. You yeah. know, you got to re respect her decisions and your decisions and his decisions. You got to respect... And it's still... it's That's a facade, that we have, but in reality, you still got to lead, even though yeah. nobody acknowledges that. And I feel like that's the the biggest problem. Yeah, is like you know, I had to talk to my girl one time about we got into it a little bit, and she goes, "What's?" I go, "You want me to lead, but right. you also want to question what I'm doing and also make your own decisions after you've asked me to lead." I go, "I can't do that. Like, if you want me to lead, I'll lead." Right, and that's fine. But you're not gonna you're not gonna ask me why every time, because that is gonna annoy the shit out of me. It's gonna wear me down. I don't want to. You're right. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Um, but they want you to like lead the way they want you. They want you to lead, lead. Yeah, and yeah. it not doesn't work. Go with the, well, that's the problem. That's where where you really got to find the right the right person balance. and the make balance. the right yeah, decisions. Yeah. Because, and and also, that. you we want to respect them as a human being. But there's times where I have to look at what she just said. And go, this doesn't this make no this fucking make sense. no fucking sense. Yeah. And I have to the trick is doing that without going, this doesn't make no fucking sense all the time. Because that gets old too. Yeah. And they don't even they sometimes they're not even aware of it. Like it's like you're right. They want you to lead, but in the way that they're comfortable with. And it, it don't always work that way. And they way, don't man. even want that because if you lead in the way that they're comfortable with, then, then they'll resent you. Then you'll res you'll resent you and you're yeah. a pussy because you you didn't put your foot down. And and the thing of, of being being righteous enough to say no because it's it, because you're uncomfortable to say not just no but I'm uncomfortable with this and I'm mm. not going to do yeah. that. Yeah. And if you and and the thing is you can do this is where we, we were, uh, you know we were talking about never got to this point. The point is um I don't mind making the compromise um about something that I don't want to do. But if I don't want to do it, I need I you need to know I don't want to do yeah. it. And if you're asking me I'm getting to make, credit for if, this. Yeah, if you yeah. ask me to make this compromise, I want it to be clear that this is a compromise and I'm doing this for you. I'm not going to let you have an understanding that because you love doing this, I love it too. I don't. That, that's the thing that's interesting because sometimes it's not enough to do it. 
they also want you to want like you it. to like it. Yeah, and it's you have to fight. You have to fight back. Like, no, I'm not gonna. So one time, my girl um, was. Uh, it was one of these things where I had to have a comment. She's a great cook, right? But she is so great, and the things she makes, it, she needs help sometimes. And I had to go. I love you to death. I love your cooking. I don't want to be a sous chef. I have other things I'm doing. Right, right. And she's not doing it on purpose. But no. hey, can you hand me this? Can you do? If you need me to do all this, I then we got to make something less complicated or whatever. And one time, <clears throat> one time, you know, we had this conversation, and I was still helping her. And whatever. Right. She made this very complicated thing. It was really involved. I had to go get the ingredients. Blah blah blah. A lot of stuff. She goes, and at the end, she goes, and I go. She goes, "This is how is it?" I go, "It's fucking phenomenal." Mm -hmm. And she goes, uh, "See, wasn't that worth it?" I go, "Absolutely not." You know, it was not. She, okay. I, she goes, you, "I thought you said you just like that. It was phenomenal." I go, "It is phenomenal," but the amount of effort I got to put in, I'm fine with going to Taco Bell. I don't give a shit. Right. Like it ain't good, but it's fast or yeah, whatever right. the fuck. Just I will. She wants something. Yeah. Good, special, or whatever. Right. Or just understand, like, there's if a you level want it that special, that's like women, right? Yeah. Like they don't care what you want. They want the nice things. They want the fancy stuff or whatever. Sure. Like, like they want what they want, and they want not only you to support that, but in a lot of cases, for you to get it for them. Well, this is a this is an interesting thing. We've said this a couple of times on a couple of shows is because it's there's always a concept that kind of pops into my head and then once we I the I'm I'm working it out in my head because I'm, one thing I think is important about the podcast that we do is that we're progressively taking these ideas and advancing sure, these yeah. ideas all yeah. the time. And and I I've, I've said this a couple of times on a couple of episodes and I'll keep saying it because uh, I guess until I get bored of saying it, but Harry was saying to me, you know, relation, people always say relationships are compromises. And I said, uh, yeah, but let's, we, we, we looked up the word compromise. And when you look up the definition of compromise is that we both give something up and we both gain something. Gain, compromise is not me doing what I want you to do so you can shut the fuck up. I don't just do what you want me to do so I don't have to hear your mouth. If I'm going to do something, if, you, if you're saying to me, I want to do this, this, this elaborate dinner or this elaborate thing, I will help you. Right. But understand this, that I'm doing you a favor, which means... When I want something, I expect this is a this is a chip that I get to cash in. But, so that's not a compromise. That's like no, quid that pro is quo. the compromise. Well, well, that quid pro quo is a compromise, isn't it? Hmm. No, I think it's more like I'll do this for you if you do it for me. I suppose a compromise saying like, okay, well, we could do this, but let let's do it this too. Here's what you you're what you're talking I about. Guess. Quid pro quo is a comp. That's the definition of a compromise. You do something for me that I wanted you to do, and I do something for you. That's a compromise. What you're talking about is a sacrifice. No, I think it's more of a compromise saying, hey, I, I really want to have tacos tonight. And be like, listen, I'm not really in the mood for tacos, but if you want to have Mexican, let's have burritos. That's like a compromise. Being like, I'll only buy you Mexican food tonight if next week you take me out for Italian food. That's, That's a compromise. Quid pro quo. That's a compromise. Uh, yeah, a compromise is giving up something on on each end, so that the other party has to let's, sacrifice something. Let's, so let's, let's, I, okay. let's let me look, you want to look it up? Harry? Sure, I'll look up the definition. Because here's a, here's what I think as a man, what we what we think is compromise is a compromise is us us making sacrifice, and it's not making sacrifice. That's not the definition of compromise. You got it? Compromise: an agreement or settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions. An ability to listen to two sides in a dispute and devise making concessions. concessions. We both make concessions, meaning you want me to do this, um, I'll do that, but you got to do something for me. I, I make a concession. That's what what, what we're. To, but I think what happens at a masculine, a very masculine way to look at it, this is we think about the compromise in terms of it's our sacrifice. I don't want to do this, but you want to do this, so I'll do it. That's a sacrifice. That's not a compromise. Right. But I feel like when you have that attitude with it, it's kind of like you're dooming it. You're dooming, dooming whatever, what? the, whatever the thing is not to like well, go to to well or be a positive thing. Well, it's, it's like, it oh, I'm, I'm sacrificing this thing yeah. instead of just being like, 
I'm do instead of being like I'm doing this so you'll do something for me or I'm doing this because isn't you know, that like, that's it's what more it like is. I'm doing this because this is going to make you happy and in our relationship that's sometimes I'm gonna do that's things just, that I'm not crazy about to make you happy and expect you to do things that make you happy. That is that's a, what that it means is, to be in a relationship. That is a right? compromise. That is a compromise. But mm -hmm. when the when the compromise is you want me to do this and I don't want I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it because it makes you happy and I get nothing in return is a sacrifice. So I think that we. But what about their satisfaction? Uh, like the satisfaction satis of your partner or lover? Isn't that something you're kind of getting? Um, no. No? Okay. <laughs> no, because let's be. I mean, we've all been in relationships. Degree, you want the happiness, yeah, but at, want, but if it wears you down, in in their ha if their happiness is wearing you down in some other capacity, your that's simple not, happiness is not yeah. is not my goal in life. I don't live my life. So that I just make you happy and I'm miserable. That's right. But so are these that extreme though? That you know, doing these compromises or doing these things makes I you, think you decide miserable. That. Right. I think you decide that. You well, there's a level well, then of what it is. You're, yeah. That's you know, then you got to question your relationship. And yeah, what absolutely. Your so if, are if, that, if you're, you're on a consistent path where you find yourself consistently having to make. These compromises that make you stop unhappy. Stop saying my compromise. It's or making sacrifice. sacrifices. sacrifices. I'm the only one making sacrifices, and you don't give a fuck that I'm making sacrifices. That's not a compromise. That is ultimately where you're sucking the life and out of me. Every time you want something, you're sucking the life out of or me. Or if you consistently find yourself in that position of being uncomfortable and making these sacrifices, maybe this is not the relationship for you. If there are consistently things that you don't enjoy doing that you have to do or that you're uncomfortable I'm not, doing. I'm not yeah, disagreeing sure. with that. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, yes, it may come to the point where, the, could, re yeah. where the relationship is just, we're just incompatible. We're, we're incompatible, But yeah. the point is, the point is, if you're with somebody who consistently wants you to do things that you don't want to do, and there's nothing, there's never a situation where she goes, I, 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 I you know what, you don't want to do this. I'll go with my friend or I'll do this or that. Then... That then that is somebody who doesn't give a fuck about you. That's somebody well, it sounds who, like yeah, you're incompatible. Right, right, right. But you have to you have to have the quid, quid quid pro quo in order to understand. Not that it has to be a drastic thing. It could be look. I don't look. I don't want to. I'm look. I don't want to go to a dance club. Mm. I've done that my whole life. You want me to go to the dance club or this, or you want me to go to some goofy wedding? You like I don't give a fuck about your friend. I don't care about their wedding. They probably not gonna last anyway. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't like them. <laughs> but you want me to go? I will go there. I will put the suit on. I will. I will conversate, small talk. We're getting will, them a bad gift though. I will. Mm. I will make you look great. Yeah. But we're not doing this every week. Right. And the ones I don't want to go to, I'm gonna go. I ain't going. I'm not doing it. And if I don't make it clear that this is not something that I want to do, I do not want to do this. But for you, I love you and I care about you and I understand that this is important to you, I will make this compromise. Because otherwise it becomes a standard. Yes. Well, I think that's and what really bothers you is when there's entitlements about it. Absolutely. When it's just like, just because you're my partner, then you I need gotta to bite be the doing this and the, you need to be doing But the doing question that. is, and I don't even mind that if the shoe goes on the other foot and you don't mind. When I want you to do something that you don't want to do. See, if if, I, if you want me to do it and like it, you better do it and like it too. And if you're not doing it and like it, fuck you. Well, that that I I definitely hear you. When people want you to do things that they don't like and they don't enjoy, but they feel some sort of pressure, you know, socially or whatever, that they yeah, like yeah. have to do something, and they they want to bring you on like this misery adventure even, or whatever. Even it's if like, they like doing it, it's the point. The point I'm saying is. Here's, here's, I guess, what I'm saying. What is the thought process? The thought process is, I love you. You are important to me, and your happiness is important to me. The things that you want to do and they are important to you, I will make those compromises because I understand that. But I expect the same from you. And if I can't get those things, you are telling me that you don't give a fuck about me. No, for sure. If it's not reciprocal, then, like, fuck Which it. Which is the definition of quid pro quo. It yeah. reciprocates. You get, you get. We both we decide just because I'm the man, and because my responsibility, you you perceive my responsibility, keep making you happy, doesn't mean you don't you don't you don't get to. So I'll I'll make it clear. Sure, I would do that, but I, this is not something I want to do. 
Um, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have a horrible time. I'm not gonna give you a hard time. I'm not gonna be a bitch about it. I'm not gonna do it. And uh, but just understand, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this because for you. I love you. Not Period. nothing. I get nothing out of I this except that I this. love you. And I un- and, and understand that I love you in that way, and I expect you to do the same for me. Sure. And shut your but mouth. I feel, I feel like when you get into that, like you owe me. Or you do it like I like you want that, you but you better. can't expect that. I feel you like better. that. Then it becomes like toxic. If it it's what's toxic is not being clear about what your needs mm-hmm. are, and not being clear about what your needs are and what you expect, and not understanding what you expect, and not being clear about it, and not not saying this is what I want. I also now, don't expect it in the same. Uh, proportion back. We like, never do. Right. I never expected as to be this. As a man, it's, you never do. Right. Yeah. So it's not as if uh, we, we're doing this, so you owe me on the card. You know, we got to be even one to one. It's just more like, just understand that later on you're going to have to do something for me. <coughs> I want you to understand that, you know, I want that same Anal. appreciation. Uh, yeah. That, that's that's what it's you always throw easy. it up there. Yeah. <laughs> Anal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you go, I look. think it's. Well, Sorry to hack it up for a second. No, it's but, funny. But the compromise itself, the compromises, compromises that we both benefit from this relationship. Um, I, you know, we. Uh, I'm trying to think. Of, we, I, we, I, I don't want to use the same. Which one? The same uh, analogy I used about Keith, Keith oh, Valley, and, the girl, and, and uh, I'm trying to think of another, another situation. But it's like if if I'm doing, I, I'll give you my first wife. My first wife. Sure. Uh. When I started doing comedy, she was like, I don't think a man should be away from his wife. Like, she didn't think that a man should sleep away from his wife. And so, if I wanted to go, and when I went on the road... It have to be a she, one-nighter. She, she, or with a one-nighter, or she she would have to come with me. And and this was at a time when she had no... She was, she was getting doing her bachelor's degree online. When she started doing her master's degree... At some point in time, she had to go to the university for certain classes that she had to. In order to get a degree, she had to go to the university, and what for then? Like what a she, week or yeah, like a like week a seminar or for, like a, yeah like, for certain classes that she had to take, modular classes that she had to take. And what she wanted me to do is cancel my shows and go with her to this to Indiana. To sit in a hotel while she took classes during the day, and I was supposed to cancel the things that I was supposed to do because she needed to do this, or I could just, I could stay home and she could go by herself. All of a sudden now, it was fine that I stayed home because she was the one that was that needed to travel, but when I needed to travel... It was uh, I don't I'm, a man shouldn't sleep away from his home blah 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 blah. It's just what I feel like it's crazy, but I feel like a lot of these things it's just like there's an incompatibility that like people don't want to admit or they don't want like they're, they they're caught in a relationship but they don't any, understand I, I don't it. Even, I think that's and they want to go and instead of being like this is not this isn't going to work. I don't want to do that stuff. You know, I'm not in. You know, I yeah. find that now with dating, I'll see girls' profiles. I'm like. That I don't want to go to these places that this girl is in this picture. She's really yeah. cute, but what is the point of yeah. even pursuing it when I know like it's going to turn into? So oh, here's, it'll come here's what you, I know? think it is. It's it's not just so much the you, you're basing it on what they have said, right? But I don't think it's so. I think it's also based on an emotional feeling at the time. She made that rule arbitrarily because she didn't want to be away from Dante in that moment. She didn't want me to she, be away from her. Uh, she didn't want uh, yeah. uh, whatever I said. Or she, didn't want she Dante. just want to know like where you yes, were. Exactly. Because if then if you weren't, then you stay home. Either way, like, you yeah. Couldn't either you're home or you're with her. You can't be out because she was afraid. She but, was. But that's insecure. because she felt in that she was insecure in that moment. So she just decided that that's where the rules are. Because sometimes the rules are affected by people's emotions. Right. So it's not a set of rules going into it. These it's are things fa- you we're discover. We're talking about fairness. Yeah. Just basic fairness. Yeah. It, you can't make this rule up front and then break the rule when it when it when it applies to what you want you basically no, nobody wants to be with the hypocrite but also right, not all the you're, rules you're are set up selfish, that's why it's so hard you're a relationships. selfish cunt you don't <laughs> give a fuck about me yeah. you care about your comfort but you're not okay with the fact of me you know i was working hard to kind of do gigs i was trying to move my career forward this was important to me and she didn't care 
She literally said to me at one point, I don't, you know, you have a job, you make good money. I don't see why you gotta keep doing this comedy thing. Yeah, she sucks. She she it, wasn't she wasn't the right match but for the, you. I agree with you, but the point really was that there was it all she never cared about me. Well, also here's one thing. She happened to never care about you. But I don't. I don't always think it's something that a person. Sometimes a woman can change. Uh, anyone can change. Anybody in a relationship can change. But sometimes those things change and they alter as something is happening. And if you allow them to, the, their eggs start drying up and nah. the change comes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm sorry. no, my my point is, it's not a situation of just it being a bad person. Even if you have a person who's very good, sometimes they have those feelings because it's convenient for them in the moment. And if you allow that to happen, it poisons the relationship if you're doing things you don't want to do. My right. point is, it's not always cut and dry up front. Sometimes a good person is not trying to be selfish, but in the moment, their feelings dictate their <laughs> desires. But what difference but it, whether the, yeah. it, what but the, the way intent, they handle those the, feelings right, sure, are. Right, like whatever that, like, the intent. On a regular basis, you want to know that about somebody if they're going to like handle oh, without a doubt, yeah. in like, a horrible way. Look, I can't, I, can, I can't even list the amount of times that I've done things gone to weddings, gone to family uh, things, gone places, done things, went places, spent money, listened to stories, done things I didn't want to do, uh, adjusted myself, compromised such and such and such. The thing is, I don't, I'm not a, a lot of shit I don't give a fuck about. I, I don't do it here. I can do it there. Whatever the fuck you want to go to, whatever. I'm an easy dude. But when I say that this is important to me, you better go, wow, this is important to me. I need to I need to take that into consideration, and when somebody doesn't do you do that, there's the subtext of this is I don't give a fuck about your happiness. You are here for me for for to me to use you to to fulfill my needs in the way that I see fit. And when you don't do that, I'm angry at you. I don't care your about your happiness or your self fulfillment. And if you don't care about my self, then fuck. You no, yeah, you got to get rid of, you got to get right. rid of those people. But, You're already with them for too long, right? If exactly. that's if that's the case. But I mean, from my two like failed relationships that I was really you know upset about and yeah. devastated about, what I did though take from them is not to sweat the small stuff, right? And try to see things from their perspective. Well, I I I absolutely think that empathy is important. But you can't be empathetic to somebody who's empathetic, who's not empathetic, who's not who's empathetic. Unempath I, it, like I, you know, and not to get into the the the, the weeds of the politics, but I I've said this to Harry all the time. I go, whatever you think of Trump, you think whatever the fuck you think of Trump. But he's a dirtbag. I hate him so because much. Because <laughs> here's a guy, Mike, and I, and and so is Mike Pence. But Mike Pence is a dude that carried water for that dude forever. But Trump is such a dirtbag, and then the one time he didn't do what he did, he still sent people to sure. fucking kill him. To kill, and yeah. this is my and people think this guy's like like the Republicans are so stupid right now because they have like the best opportunity to like find someone who's gonna like take their party and take the country and do something awesome with it. But and they, they are too it. afraid, they're and they're afraid. bowing down to the golden to guy, calf of to, fucking to Trump. To a guy who will never give a fuck about what you think. He, he, they doesn't don't, he doesn't give a fuck about the party. So he doesn't ridiculous. give a fuck about it. You, when you're talking about, so. you're talking about fucking, and, and, and the thing is, and this it's is. worse than Todd Lynn. This, uh, <laughs> shout out to. Wait, to, who's to, worse, Dante? Who's worse, uh, Donald Trump or Todd Lynn? <laughs> same and dude. Same dude. Same dude. Just that Trump has one more. More access, half more of power. Arm. He has a half of an arm more. <laughs> Just Todd so you know, Todd Lynn did have a deformed arm. But, uh, Which, again, you wouldn't normally make fun of, except Todd Lynn was such a jerk that you have no sympathy for him. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. care what anybody. I, it's like you know that doesn't excuse it. Yeah. No, I. You know, I tell yeah. you what's interesting is it's uh, there's a. Uh, there's this need for on, for 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 fairness when the people are unfair. Right. So if you got some Karen and she's dropping m bombs and telling people, and you a fat bitch, I'm calling you a fat bitch. Your pussy stinks. You fat mm. bitch. I hope you never walk. You. I hope you lose a. F I'm going all in because I hear you. You got to be be a dick to the dicks. Dick because the that's dick, why you got to be a dick the to the dick dicks. Never has a problem with being a dick. And it's so far. And then when you are a dick, they're the first one to go, how, how could you? Yeah, how? no one stood up to them. 
for yeah. whatever reason. They have families that walk eggshells around them. They have friends and people around them that just let them fucking be assholes. And no one wants to sure. be like, you're a fucking dick. And someone needs to put you in your fucking place. And, and that's, you need and to I be think, treated I, like I, you I, I like to. I pride myself on being that person. I, yeah. Oh, I'm, I am. <laughs> I am magnificent. I would. I. I wish I had filmed my Karen situation. Which one was this? I was in a. I was in a bodega. Mm. I walk in the bodega, and there's this, this old lady. Right. Mm. She walks in the fucking. Oh, is it on? Hit it. Hit it. Uh, five times. Did it light up? Uh. Uh-uh. Hit it. Yeah. Good. Let it. Let it's it. Like let, a it ch- let it. Let it. Run the cycle. Running that thing is like a do its little yeah, R2D2 It's moment. like a cheat code for an 80s video <laughs> game. This fucking thing. And, Hit and, it up, and up, all, up, down, and, down. And all potheads know it's five clicks. Yeah. <laughs> it's five clicks to turn it on. Oh, is that what it's, they do now? the secret handshake? It's three, turn this on. <laughs> it's three three <laughs> clicks for temperature, five clicks to turn off and on. So, you see those uh, videos are trying to have kids use rotary phones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, oh, that's oh, no, turn, turn this on. Yeah. Uh, so I I um I I go in this I go in this bodega, and there's this old lady there, and she's she's behind she's very sh- she's a little old lady short, she they can't see her off the, over the counter right, and so the guy is fucking it's lunchtime he's, he's hustling and he's bustling. on the grill he doesn't see her yeah and he goes well, well how can I help and she's saying next to him, and he goes uh, she goes you don't see me, you don't see me and the guy was like no. Actually, no, I didn't see you. You, you know, I didn't see you over the counter. He and the guy goes, the guy who she, she, she was gonna serve. She goes, uh, he says, um, he goes, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. Uh, you know, you, she she was here. You can go first. You're damn right, I was here. Blah 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 blah. She goes, she goes, oh, you don't you don't serve women here. He goes, ma'am, don't. I'll take care of you. I'll take. Oh, what wow. do you want? Such and such and such. And he, she asked for like eggs on a on a on a toaster roll. And they didn't call her her right pronouns. <laughs> right. And then she goes, uh, she's like, uh, oh, how long has this taken? Such and such. And I'm watching her. And she's sitting she's on the giving guy. giving everybody the business. She's giving the guy the business. The guy apologizes. He says, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, you, you didn't see me. Blah, 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 blah. She's going on. And the kids are like, what are you kids doing out of school? She's just miserable. And she's fucking everybody over. She is. I order. I get my sandwich. I'm in front of her. Um, I have like a sandwich. Betty White deserved to die. <laughs> and, I'm, uh, and I'm in front of her. And she goes, um, she, she, she's... Uh, I'm buying lunch for a couple of people. She goes, ah, yeah, what are you? Ain't you big enough to not have three lunch? She just goes oh, in. Oh, wow, jeez. I go, I and and as soon as she goes, she goes, move out of my way. I said, let me explain something, you old fucking crabby bitch. I go, this is why your fucking family don't like you. I go, nobody loves you. You're alone. I can tell by your clothes, the way your shoes are. Nobody likes you. Shut the fuck up. I said, and then she goes, move out of my way. And she tries, but I go, if you touch me, I will punch you in your fucking mouth. I promise you, I will knock you the fuck out. So back the fuck up off me. And she's like, oh, you're going to hit an old leg? Yes, I will knock your fucking teeth <laughs> out. I go, she's, she's like, oh, yeah. I go, you old nasty bitch. I go, this is why your sister don't like you. This is why your, your brothers don't like you. This is why the, your grandkids, the, your, your, your nieces and nephews don't like you. Because you're a fucking old cunt. And if you put your hands on me, I promise you, I will defend you like you're a 200 150 pound man so move the fuck away from me right you fucking off i'm just ripping her she goes oh so now you're an ageist you don't like old people i go no i don't like you and everybody that knows you wish you were dead because you're an evil shit i go i've been here since the beginning that you came in here and you have given everybody that walked in here some shit and i promise you if you if you you push me, you put your hands on me, I will treat you like you're 18 in the prime of your life. Move the fuck back. And wow. I go, why are you putting up with this cunt? I go, this old fucking nasty cunt. I go, and the guy goes, the customer's right. I go, no, the customer's right. You And you let this bitch treat you like this. She treats people like this every fucking day. And it won't stop until somebody stops her. I said, but you read the you met the wrong motherfucker today because bitch, you won't I'll take your sandwich and throw it out the front fucking door. And she's like, rah, 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 rah. I go, now I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna, and she 
tries to move and I bump this bitch. I, I hip check her. And she's like, oh, you got to go. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I get my stuff. I leave. Whatever the fuck happens, she, she's bitching and grumbling and grumbling. The next day I go back because I, I eat lunch there every. All the Muslim does, my friend, my friend. We love you. We love you, my because this this bitch right because they're holding it in. They want to say it, and for yeah. some reason they feel like they can't. They it happens can't. every day with little things: people cutting in line, people like Social standing, contracts like, like, yes, and... like the dumbest things, and people are just so afraid to speak up. And you know what? There is even a stigma. For people that stick up, like I've been yeah. on dates where I say something and the girl's like, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, what the fuck are you freaking out for? Like, like, because I'm like doing the right thing. Like, yeah. people are so afraid of any confrontation. They don't want no anything they don't going, want the, and it's like nobody no. wants the smoke. Nobody wants that smoke. So uh, I came in, I I ordered my shit. I ate free there. They let me oh, eat nice. there every time I come in. My friend, that's a party. <laughs> it's like you liberated <laughs> back there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then they, I would come in and they go, oh, she came in yesterday. She was very quiet. <laughs> very quiet. Very quiet. <laughs> she was machanut. <laughs> machanut. <laughs> so... I, and I just and I to this day every time I walk in there they go hey my friend <laughs> because just because I go you stop letting these people this is the problem yeah with you being, did what they wanted the do. world is being held hostage by a bunch of selfish assholes and nobody's going fuck you somebody has to go fuck you now a lot of times you get you know with with the whole Karen situation you get people who are clear but but it's interesting because that happens mm. in relationships you get women who consistent especially when they're attractive they are cunty continue to be abusive and somehow it's okay there's a whole nother standard. well there's never any consequence no, that's why absolutely. They, they, that's why they continue to act that and way. i don't think they even have the self-awareness because i feel like they're so used to just having people fawn on them having things handed to go. them in life they, they it's like they don't even know that's why my middle name is self-awareness. I'm going to make you aware. If you make me uncomfortable, I'm going to make sure that you're uncomfortable. Five times worse than you're comfortable. Because you're going to know. And, then, and anytime you do that, that person is always like, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. What was what that is, all about? What, what's your problem? Fuck you, you old hateful bitch. You're going to die alone. You're going to die alone with your cats. And nobody's going to care. I go, <laughs> you're going to fucking die. And your cats are going to eat your eyeballs out of your head. Fuck you. Yo. And it's like, and this chick never, every time I see those guys, oh, she came back the other, very quiet, <laughs> very quiet. One time this chick got checked because it's so fragile and so abusive because they get away with everything. Yeah, they need to know. And People she's are so also afraid to talk up. You know, they she's think a having a conversation yeah. is automatically an argument. Yeah. And they don't realize, like, hey, we could have a difference of opinion. We could share ideas and I can express right. with you. And it doesn't mean, like, the fucking world's going to end. Right. Sorry, Harry. I didn't mean to. No, no, no. I, 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 it's, it's, yeah, I, I lost my point. It doesn't matter. But it's, it wasn't also, anything it's also in the context of. A good faith discussion. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a good... I have no problem having a good faith discussion. You have a difference of opinion. Explain to me yeah. how logically you think that this is important. And I will try to see your point of view. And if it's legitimate and if it's fair and if it's it's even and balanced, I, I'm, you might change my mind. But most of all, people want to take advantage. And in relationships where people are... It, it, it people are and that goes for both sides. Sure. If the guy is abusive... He don't give a fuck about you, and he's telling you, you know, the problem is that you're so your self esteem is so low that you, th what's really going on is internally, you think you deserve this behavior that they're giving you. It matches up with your self esteem. Your self esteem mm. is telling you that you deserve to be disrespected. You deserve to be taken advantage of. You deserve to be the person who gives and gives because you don't think that you have the value, that you don't understand the value and the comfort that you bring to other people. And I say this, I mean, for instance, our friendship, I've always, I, I, I put my feet on the floor with, a, with, a, 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 with an intention of civility, kindness, and generosity. But if you fucking cross me, I am as I am as adamant about putting this dick in you like I am adamant about helping you out. 
And so if same you, energy. If you want to see that, you want to see the dude. Don't cross Dante. Yeah, I. <laughs> I am, and the dude that the dude that I keep chained up in the kitchen under underneath the kitchen floor is. You don't want to. I don't want to see that dude. I don't. I'm uncomfortable with that guy. There's no reason to. I'm so. You're such a great guy. I, I like appreciate you've been that. so kind yeah. to me. I mean, I appreciate you on so many levels as an artist, as a comedian. You know, and it's just I, I'm so grateful to yeah. have you I, in my I, life. Man, and and I appreciate for all you've done for me because you've been there for me when no one else has, or in a way, no one else could be. I appreciate that, man. And, and I, it it's you do it because it's the right thing, and you hope. That it that the the bit you hope that there's friendships and there's there's relationships that are forged in a real way because but so many times I've done that and guys you don't have, get nothing in return but, but I the thing is you do it for yourself because yes. you do it because that's the way you want the world to treat you yes so you you literally you be the change which you want to see yeah be the change in the world which you want to see and I never get it back. On evenly. the same, never. I mean, not, yeah. not. I'm not saying from you, but I'm just saying for people that I've I've gone out of my way to do so. I. But the point is, the fact that I'm better than you, that you you don't that 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 there's not a compromise, and because it's not reciprocated, makes me tell you to suck my dick so much. You're a piece of garbage. You're shit. Yeah, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to know. Whatever whatever it is you did, that's what like it costs to get this person out of your life. That, yeah, like, no, but isn't it's, it's yeah. worth, worth it, too. Being yeah. in it. Yeah. Because that's what, so many things with relationships with this, like, we're keeping people around that aren't working for us, yeah. but we don't know better than to sure. put down the boundaries or are in touch with what we really want and what's important for us. Yeah. And, be like, and that's what also we why do. what we were talking about before is always setting up those boundaries early or, or you know yeah. establishing what your boundaries are early because what so many it guys easier. it makes it easier because what so many guys do is they go well I don't want to piss her off I'll do this for her I'll do this one thing I'll do another and then it, you just realize you're doing things you don't want to do and you're in a relationship that doesn't work right and it goes both ways it's just a different there is no compromise there's no compromise there is sacrifice with no comfort and and in no shape or form am I keeping score but I'm not going to let you blow me out either. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to be 86 to 0 and right. then we still act like and because it's always I'm never the, expecting it to be 50-50. No. No. I am not right. in I'm not even interested in that be, because of the fact that I'm better than you. Like I'm I'm bitch, bitch, I'm better than you. I am That's I, why I, you're with me though. I bring your I bring I bring value to your life. That's what my intention is. But it's also people have always have asked me, how do you um, how do you gain the confidence? The confidence comes from the value that you bring. If if you if you're the shit, and it's just because she's too dumb to know that you're the shit, but you really the shit. When she goes, oh, I would never, blah, 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 blah. or I've had to explain, oh you with your old ass, I right, bitch, well, go with the dude with the cum gutters and the six pack. When he starts punching you in the face, don't call me. <laughs> you know, it is that. Let's yeah. let's shut this down. P plug your um, and then we'll do what we're gonna do behind the. Check picture. me out. I'm at Jonathan Randall. That JonathanRandallGuy.com. Funny dude, yo. Check him out. You got anything going on? You got? Are you working on anything? Any? How's the YouTube page? What are you uh, doing? Yeah, sure. I got my TikTok going. All right, Just rock it out. Got a bunch of videos every day. Jonathan, let's spell it. Spell it for them so they can. J O N A T H A N R A N D A double -L, L. Follow this Jonathan dude. Jonathan Randall. Follow this dude. I, I love Thanks him. Thanks for having man. me, guys. Harry. Uh, all my stuff is at Harry Turjanian. Uh, follow me on TikTok, YouTube, all that stuff. Yo, Google me, bitch. You know how to mm -hmm. get me. Dante Nero. One-on-one -on -one consultations. DanteNero.com. Click on consult. Don't forget to sign up for the Patreon. Help us keep doing this, man. I love doing it, but, you know, it would be easy if we had a few dollars. So sign up for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Please uh, support us so we can keep doing it. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcasted. We are out.